What is up guys, so in this video I went out to a new location fishing for pike again. Um, I found this location on Google Maps. It's a really good way for you guys to find new fishing spots if you haven't already tried that. I would definitely suggest it. We've been getting a lot of rain lately so unfortunately that has made the rivers pretty high and uh, some of them have been pretty muddy. But fortunately there's lots of rivers around here and so some of them don't get very muddy. They might get flooded but they don't get muddy so it still you know, it makes it a lot more fishable. Uh, muddy is what I really don't like. So anyways this river ended up being pretty good and uh, I'm glad I fished it so hope you guys enjoy the video it should be a good one There we go. Oh, there's a pike. That did not take long. It's my first cast in this area, guys. What? I cannot believe that. That's not a bad pike. That's awesome, guys. Seriously, my first cast in this area, and I got a pike. This could be a really good sign. If this place is loaded with pike, okay, I have too much line to strip in, or to reel in, but if this place is this loaded with pike, that is awesome. It's a good mid 20 incher, first cast. It's gotta be a fluke, because there's no way the pike, I mean, hopefully they are, but I, I doubt that they're that, that packed in here where you can get one like that easily, normally. He chomped that streamer, though. First pike, like 24, 25 inches. Not bad little fish. See ya. Oh man, just had a pike go for it. I didn't see him, I felt a little something, and I felt a sw or I saw a swirl from when he took off. So, he, I, didn't, I didn't hook him though. He might still be willing to bite. Let's find out. <clears throat> All right guys, so a little update for you guys. I've switched over to conventional gear because we're getting some pretty big gusts of wind every once in a while and it really messes me up fly fishing. Uh, just casting, it's really hard to cast into the wind. As well as it's getting difficult at the anchor. I keep, my anchor is not heavy enough for the wind. But anyways, um, we're gonna keep fishing. I only caught one pike so far, as you guys saw the first cast. And I went upstream a little bit, or quite a ways actually. Only saw like one tiny pike, it was like five inches. I mean, it was probably a fry from this year. And um, so nothing really upstream, it's really shallow. So I'm gonna start working my way back downstream to where I caught those first couple fish. And uh, hopefully, maybe with a jerk bait, I can get a few more fish. Okay, well now we're right back where we started. Let's see if we can get some more fish here. I saw a decent sized pike over here earlier today. I'm not sure if he's still there or not, but that's where we're gonna start casting. Oh, there we go, there's a nice pike, guys. There's a nice pike. Oh, wow, wow, he got wrapped up bad. But there's a nice one. Oh, man, I saw him hit that, too. Jeez, that was awesome. That's, uh, eh, he might be 30. Whoa, he's giving me, like, death rolls here. Jeez, that's a good pike. Oh, he's not even hooked in the mouth, or he might be. I'm not sure. Wow, that's awesome, guys. That, oh, jeez, jeez, he's really bending this rod. I've got my anchor. Okay, good. He's been giving. I thought he was gonna get me in the anchor there. That's awesome. That's a 30 inch, I bet. He's pushing it, but he's, he might be there. One big thing that's nice about flies versus jerk baits is you don't have like three treble hooks hanging there. I'm a little scared to grab him. Let's see. Hey, dude. Hey, dude. Hey. There we go. I should 100% be using pliers for this, but you guys know me, don't like to be smart. Okay, here she is, 31 inches, so a nice solid pike, good good thick fish, he's ready to go as you can see, it has got a pretty small head actually, so getting this fish right back in the water, it looks like its eyes pretty messed up actually, there we go, he was ready.
There we go, guys. Another fish. Nice. Feels like a good one. Feels like a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's not a real big one. But it's my third fish. Man, they're stacked in this little area back here. That's awesome. Another quality fish, though. I mean, nothing big at all. Not a 30 incher or anything bigger than that. But it's uh, about the same as the first one, a little thicker. That's awesome. I should have stayed here, man. I was traveling all around trying to find all these good spots. And uh, I started off with the best one, apparently. All right, come here with your face full of treble hooks, dude. Let me get you. Uh, man. Another real thick pike. These are healthy fish. That's awesome. Now you get a big 40 incher out of here. All right, here he is, 26 inches. Another really solid pike. Let's get back in the water and get that uh, real big one now. Starting to find out where they are. That's awesome. There's a go. No, another fish. Are you kidding me? Fourth fish, guys. They are stacked in here. I can't see them. Can't see. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. I think. Uh, I can't tell, guys. That's another about the same. It might be a little longer. Yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's another like 30 incher. Guys. Geez. Uh, I don't know. Oh, geez. My anchor's over there. That's awesome, guys. That's another good pike. Another good pike. That's, mm, he might be 30 inches. Mm, yeah, I think he is. He's probably in the 30, 31 inch range again. That's crazy, guys. I've never, never had a place, or never found pike this stacked up. Oh uh, man, he looks like he's about to jump or something. There we go. 30 inches. Now I've caught two fish that are 30 inches, 30 plus inches, and two fish that are decent size. That's awesome. Uh, I'm not sure if this is normally like this. I've never fished here before, but hey, I'll be coming back for sure. This gives me good, good hope that there's a real big fish in here too. If I just caught two 30 inches, two 30 inches, I bet there's a 40 incher around here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Oh, he hit it right as I hit the water. Fifth fish, guys. Oh, this might be a big one. Oh, he feels big. He feels big. Guys, oh my gosh, this is seriously, I can't, this is ridiculous. Like this, is, I, I can't put words to this. Like there are so many pike it seems like back here. And that is, oh geez, he got a mouthful of mud. That's another, that, nah, he might not be 30. He like dug himself in the mud. His, he had a ton of mud coming out of his mouth. Oh. This is gonna get stupid, like, this is gonna be so repetitive. I just keep catching fish out here. Granted, I have been here for like half an hour, but I've, this is my fifth fish in half an hour in like the same little pocket. This is seriously like the most insane pike fishing I've ever had. I mean, it's not like crazy good size or anything, but there's just so many numbers in such a small little area. Here it is, it was 28 inches, so another good fish, nice and healthy one. It felt really big at first. I thought I thought it was a 40 incher. Just getting a little optimistic, of course. Oh, he's ready to go. <laughs> there you go, dude. See ya. So when I'm fishing these jerk baits, all I'm doing, it's real simple. I just get a few little jerks like that and let, I let it sit, I let it pause for just like a second or two. Um, not long at all, just enough for the pike to grab it. Cause lots of times what'll happen is when you give it a jerk like that, the pike will, you know, it'll get their interest. It'll flash, it'll, you know, they'll be able to see the bait then. And then they'll see it once it starts jerking. They don't usually grab it when it jerks, but once it pauses, they'll take the opportunity, think that's a dying bait fish and they'll shoot after it and grab it. So if you're just jerking it and not really giving it much pause, uh, you'll miss a lot of fish too usually because they'll go for it when it's twitching and then it's really erratic bait and it's just hard to grab it when it's moving like that. And so when it's pausing, they get a real good shot at grabbing it and it's usually the best time for them to grab it as well. So that is going to be a wrap on this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had lots of fun making it as always. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video as well. Um, and I am, I got to use conventional gear, which I know lots of you guys, or not a lot, but some of you guys have been asking me to use more conventional gear, like casting gear and spinning gear. Um, so hopefully some of you guys enjoyed that aspect of this video as well. Um, so anyways, if you guys did like the video, as always, be sure to let me know in the comments below. It means a lot to me, and make sure you give the video a thumbs up. So 
thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.